So this is one of the problems of lambing outside. Um, usually in May you would expect not too bad a weather but occasionally we get uh, some wind and rain and normally the ewes are quite sensible and they'll lamb in a sheltered spot but last night one decided it's her first lamb, she's had, she's only 12 months old and she's lamb um, in the wind and the rain and this lamb's got cold. She's only a few hours old. Um, lying on the wet ground sucked all the heat out of its body so we brought it into the farmhouse kitchen and uh, put him on the stove and we've given him some milk um, straight into the stomach with a stomach tube which I didn't get the camera out in time to we just quickly get some milk into this lamp and we'll leave him here to warm up a little bit and uh, see what happens Okay, so about 15 minutes on top of the stove and we've getting some heat into the lambs. Looking a bit happier. Starting to move a bit. Because they've got such a big surface area, they lose heat really quickly. But also because they've got a big surface area, you can hopefully get some heat into them pretty quickly as well. And the milk's going to help in its belly, that'll start working getting some energy inside as well. Right, so it's been half an hour <coughs> visit to the stove and uh, I think it's time to get this lamb back to its mum before she uh, forgets it. Uh, the smell will be different now as well, so we've got to get them back before it gets too cold, so, uh, sorry, too dry. So we're getting back to the, uh, to the mother. And so this is mum. And she's uh, quite pleased to see her lamb back. As I said, if I'd left her too long, got too dry and too warm, then uh, bring the lamb back and the ewe might not have recognised it from the smell. So uh, hopefully the lamb's warmed up enough and the milk is working and, uh, and should go. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get the cover back on the uh, on the poly tunnel. It's just a different season in here. It feels like it's winter again outside. So just checking on all the other ewes and lambs. These are these are the ones that, that were born in April, uh, so a month old up to well probably six weeks to, to two weeks is the average. And it's pretty windy today and wet and We have all these big hedges in Cornwall to shelter the sheep on days like this. Although hopefully not too many days like this in May. So there's nothing unusual or particularly freaky about this weather. Just, we expect this kind of weather all through the year, even in July and August. And there's, uh, there's a couple of lambs there with their mother. Uh, yeah, so my phone ran out of storage there. Um, I've got this other camera, it's not got a screen on it, so I can't really see what I'm pointing at, but I'll do my best. Um, yeah, so there's the ones they were born about a week ago. And this is the, they're in the lambing field still now because there's only a few left, so we just put them back in there. And they're the ones left to lamb. Uh, up by that top hedge, uh, not sure if you can see, there's two sheep up there, but there's another one with two lambs. And that's not the best hedge to be standing on. Uh, and that is where this uh, ewe lamb this morning, right up there. Um, like I said, this weather's not unusual. We, we're used to it, and that's why we we are geared up for it. Um, this ewe here, she lambed last night, and uh, this lamb, so it's less than 24 hours old, uh, probably about 15 hours old, and got a full belly of milk before the weather came in and I don't know if you can tell the difference in the weather here under this hedge but it's almost as nice here as it is inside the polytunnel. You're doing okay aren't you? Do you want to get up and show it? There we go. So the weather's not the problem really here in this instance it's just that the the lamb was born in the wrong place and uh, the ewe didn't 
didn't get it up quick enough and it didn't didn't suck so the weather's not the main problem the weather you know if it was nice weather obviously the lamb would have been absolutely fine um, so the weather caused caused the lamb to be like it was but if the ewe had just had her in the right place it would have been okay and he's shivering now which is a good sign that means that stuff's working body's working properly they shiver to, to warm themselves up and almost trying to stand and I would imagine if I give you a little help are you gonna stand up almost so it's a lamb's job to get himself out of the box then we know job is done You look like you're going to be a good mum now, and uh, hopefully the lamb will be okay now, thanks to our intervention. Okay, so I'm not sure even I believe this, but it's only three hours since I brought this lamb uh, outside, and not only has it got itself out of the box, but it's got itself out of the polytunnel, and... Uh, I have double checked, it is definitely the same one, um, it's still the same day, although it does feel like a slightly different one, it's still just as windy, but the sun has come out now, and there we go. A lamb that looked like it was pretty much had zero chance of survival in four hours has been turned around from that to this with just a little bit of milk and a little bit of warmth and uh, I don't know what else to say really it's not a how-to video but it seems to have worked out that way this is how you do it you get a lamb that's like that get some food into it get it warmed up and uh, that's what happens, so we need.